Hey, look, check it out. It's Monday. Wait a minute, something's wrong. Because it's Monday. There, is that better? Just try that. It's Monday. Time to get started. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Let's see if I can get this working. I'd like this to work a lot better. There we go. How am I sounding this morning, Joe? You're usually a very good indicator of how things are going. How is everybody else doing this Monday morning? It's, uh, well, trying to look out the window. It looks a little dreary, but I can see the sun reflecting off the tree. That means it's going to be a bright, shiny day. And that is a good thing. So we're just not going to complain about that, are we? Of course we are not. All right, good. Joe says we sound good. Hey, listen, if you happen to be catching me on your favorite podcast catcher, tune in, iTunes, Stitcher, any of those, or you're watching on YouTube, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com where you get to join in the conversation with the rest of us. Just like Joe, and then when you get here, do what Joe's done. Drop a comment, say good morning. I have something special for you guys today. I don't know if you saw yesterday, I, uh, I sent out, I put a post on the Facebook page and then sent it to a couple of people just to make sure that you would see it. Uh, I am, and now I'm going to put it in the comments right here so you can see it right here. I have the whole week planned in terms of content. I know, right? Shocking. <laughs> um, I even, I even put together a note taking guide. So, oh, and I left it in there on the other table. If, uh, you see, you feel so compelled, you should download the guide so you can take notes with us this week. And what pray tell is the topic? Well, it's one of the scariest five-letter words that an entrepreneur will ever hear. Focus. <gasps> Not that. Anything but that. No, don't make me do that. Now, here's where I draw one of the distinctions between business owners and entrepreneurs. Business owners can really be focused and... And, and they're usually pretty good at it. Good morning, Catherine. Consistent. Okay, got it. <laughs> Business owners can be really focused. They can uh, understand the task at hand and apply effort to make that uh, result happen. Entrepreneurs, on the other hand, can be really focused on an idea, on creating that idea yeah <laughs> uh, they can be really focused on creating that idea but then once the creation begins we're really bad about moving on to something else so focus is one of those uh five letter bad words and uh as Catherine points out i should be careful with my language my mama might not approve of me using those F words. But here's what I want to get. Um, here's what I want you to think about today. A couple of things. One, if you get the note-taking guide, this is right at the top. Focus, very simply, focus is the application of effort to create an outcome. That's it. It's not any more complicated than that. The application of effort to create an outcome. Now, right, that, so that's at the top. The other thing that's at the very top is what's the outcome. So this week, as we are going through how to focus, because we are encouraged all the time, focus, you just have to focus. Just spend a little focus. Nobody tells us how to do that. So this week, I'm going to tell you how to focus and create an outcome. So what I want you to do, for those of you who are committed, download the note-taking guide or just in your notebook, choose an outcome that you want to create this week or that you want to work toward this week. 
Doesn't have to be a big one. Doesn't have to be a big, hairy, audacious goal. Doesn't have to be a year-end goal. Just some outcome. Well, let's send out 10, 10 prospect emails. Well, it can be something simple like that. Whatever the outcome is, I want you to pick that, and I want you to commit to that. You can commit to the community here by putting it in the comments, and you can commit to yourself by writing it down in your notes. That's the outcome that you are thinking about as we are talking about T this week. Oh, man, I slipped T in there and didn't even tell you all what that was. It's because I'm not going to. It's um, the application of effort. Focus is the application of effort to an outcome. Today, what I want you to to think about to focus on today is what is the outcome that you want to pursue? Uh, and then what have you tried? What have you tried to create that outcome? And I, look, as I tell all of my coaching clients, you can tell me whatever you want. If you're not honest with yourself, you're not going to create anything different. And in fact, I was listening to a, um, uh, actually, was, I'm, I'm working on an online, uh, on a course, and I was listening to um, one of the lectures in this course, and he said the same thing that I have on my coffee cup, right? Uh, in a, in a slightly different way. If you keep doing the things you've always done, you're going to keep getting the results you've always gotten. And then he added something new to it. And what you have right now is the best it's ever going to be. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. And right now is as good as it's ever going to be. Right. So if you want something different, if you want to create that outcome that you've been struggling with, I can help you with it if you'll be honest. So on your note taking guide, in your notes, wherever you decide to write this down, jot down some of the things that you have tried. So we're thinking about the outcome we want to create. This is your homework and takeaway today. The outcome you want to create and the things that you've already tried. And then for the rest of the week, we're going to talk about how to focus the three specific things that we need to do in order to focus because and, and where focus is the application of effort toward creating that outcome. All right. Sound good. I'll give you the three things. I'll talk you through them. There are specific things we're going to work through each day as we go through the week. All right. And man, I left my notebook in there on the table, too. <sighs> So bad. So bad. All right. Uh, last thing, last thing, last thing, Monday. All right. So uh, if you happen to be in the North Alabama area, our third installment of the fall uh, coffee and coaching series is coming up this Thursday. Be sure and join us for that. You can find out all about that on the website. I believe you can. Go to TomRigsby.com, click on events, and I'll show up there can find a link to that event and how to register and uh, if you can't give me about 10 minutes and it'll be up there <laughs> all right that's it for today is that it i think that's it all right uh yep oh there you go Catherine. are you constructing the bonus room is this part of your construction project Catherine has committed to the community what what outcome she's trying to create. And that is having a bonus room ready for a guest to spend the night. See, it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very straightforward and simple. Simple doesn't mean easy. It just means not complicated. All right, that's it. You guys have a great week. Talk to you tomorrow.